here I am. It's the on campus kingpin. Yes, I am. Eagle Sessions. Gail Saunders here. And there's really not much to say. As you guys saw what unfolded at FedEx Field, a 31 to 6 thrashing of our Philadelphia Eagles. Um, it was probably one of the worst losses I've seen in a mm, long, long, long time. Uh, it's just, it's just, that's six losses in a row consecutive. And the Eagles haven't been this bad or lost that many games since 1994. Not to mention it's the fourth blowout in a row for the Eagles. Uh, it's just, it's hard to watch. I know you are sitting there lost and confused and hurt and you're just what is going on it's, it's to the point where something needs to change and that's uh, the elephant in the room right now is Andy Reid out of here and it's already been said that some of the players in the locker room are also are talking about uh, you know what's going on and they know that Andy Reid is gone and what what you know, there are a lot of there's a lot of players that are on the Eagles that are playing for Andy Reid or Andy Reid is the reason why they came to, to the Philadelphia Eagles. And to know that your head coach, a guy that you love so much, is going to be gone next year and it looks like it's a done deal already. This has sealed the fate. What do you play for? So uh, players are now looking like if there's going to be a new coach next year, they're going to have to play for somebody else and the new guy might want somebody else. So players are looking around and now it's all about job security. And from what we saw today, um, Nick Foles looked pretty, pretty, pretty bad. Uh, didn't get too much time in the pocket. Uh, I think he completed like 45% of his passes. Uh, um, it, it, you know, the beginning of the game just told us what was going to happen for the rest of the game. Uh, Nick Foles, who looked pretty decent in the first couple snaps, uh, he, he completed a nice little strike to Brent Selleck, but it, Selleck... Uh, dropped the ball and it tipped into the hands of a Redskin, D'Angelo Hall. And then you have to blame that one on Selleck, but then uh, later on in the game he had a couple fumbles and then he uh, also threw another pick to Brandon Merriweather, which was totally his fault. But again, pressure in the quarterback's face. Some people have been calling for Nick Foles to come in and hopefully he was the savior. Um... But they're, you're seeing what Vic was under. Uh, you're seeing the line fold like a, a $2 chair. <laughs> it's just pretty bad. Um, that offensive line is a makeshift offensive line. Besides sucking pretty badly, those guys are also making mental mistakes. I think they had like nine penalties for 70 yards on the day just as a group. I mean, not to mention... LaShawn McCoy is knocked out at the end of the game with a concussion. He he looked as spacey as Mike Vick did last week leaving the game. Um, and now it's just about seeing what kind of quality you have on this field. Uh, there's rookies that, you know, Curry, a couple other guys. Um, you have to see what you have on your team. It's We're to that point, Eagles fans, where... It's now, uh, it's now or never. I mean, you ha when you're when you're looking at your team and you're seeing plays like, uh, I mean, the one play alone that just stood out to me <laughs> is the, the the pass that was thrown to uh, Santana Moss. You're talking about a guy who is the height of a backup R&B dancer, uh, jumping over your starting safety and uh, Brandon Boykin, and it, which was a terrible tackle, a terrible effort by Coleman to get uh, the ball at its highest point. It's just, it's bad. It's it's really bad. Um, it's that that play kind of signifies uh, what our, our season has become. And what, where do you go from here? A lot of you are saying blow it up. I totally agree. Uh, there's a lot of. Uh, specialty coaches that little uh, you have Washburn, you have Mud, high-paid coaches, uh, position coaches that uh, who've brought in their type of guys. Like you see Jason Babb and you see other linemen that he he's called for 
So if, if these guys leave, um, we're essentially starting from scratch. Um, hell, I would. Hell, you know who I bring back? I bring Juan Castillo back. If there's one guy who knows, uh, he, he did pretty well with our offensive line before this. But um, yeah, uh, I really, you know, can't stress how terrible this game was. Uh, I don't know how you guys feel out there, Eagles fans. What pissed you off the most? Uh, there, I didn't see anything too positive out there, really. Um, I just thought I just saw a lot of people just going through the motions. And if it's one one thing that you could put that on, as you see, your you know the head coach of Philadelphia Eagles, Andy Reid, pretty much unfocused. I mean, honestly, when you have a head coach out there who doesn't seem like he's focused and paying attention to detail, you're going to have players who follow suit. Uh, you see your coach, you know, not paying attention to details, your players are going to do the exact same thing. Uh, I, I know the media asked him a question, and uh, Andy Reid, you know, responded. Uh, it was about his job security. But then he, he declined to answer that directly. But then he said, uh, I don't sense a lack of focus. Um, that's not what I sense. I see them playing hard. I see them focusing in at practice. At times, maybe we're trying too hard. It doesn't really look like you're trying too hard, Andy Reid. And uh, it's just, you know, the guy has had a rough, one of the probably roughest years of his career, losing his son. Um, losing anyone in your family has got is is a rough, rough, rough thing to go through, and I know, you know, to be honest, when his his son had passed away in training camp, it, I thought it was either going to go two ways. It was either going to go they were going to fight and stay behind their coach, or, or Andy Reid was just going to lack focus, uh, and it's understandable. This team is falling apart right between before our eyes. I guess the best thing to do now is focus on the draft and getting a good draft pick, um, playing some rookies. Um, Eagles fans out there, I don't know uh, what your next steps to watching these Eagle games are. are you, if you're going to be rooting your team on, or you're looking for players to step up, or are you looking for some 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 youth to uh, come to the forefront, or you're just looking to uh, get this season over, or you're just not watching the games. That's all I got for now, Eagle Sessions. I'm Gail Saunders signing out. Hopefully, uh, you're doing something better with your time next week. But like, like me, you're going to uh, come back for more punishment if you're a diehard. But anyway, Eagle Sessions, I'm out.